Y'all ready? Hey man, welcome back. Welcome back. The black market is open. The black market is open. Ooh, that's good. You know what the sound of that bell means. That means it's money on the floor. We can get it right now. We can go get some more. Let's get it. Very special guest in the black market with me today. Pick you a camera, tell them who we are. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This your boy DB, and I'm the artist behind Windsor Street, an Atlanta-based art brand who specializes in creating uh, unique wooden art pieces. Uh, I work with various different mediums, primarily wood, MDF, uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm on, a, on the rise. Oh, you got my boy Iso Joe on there. Yes, sir. Yes, man. sir. You know I had to tap in with Iso Joe. That's actually how the 85 South show discovered me through the work I did for Iso Joe. You know, actually, somebody else put me up on your shit before that. Okay. DL. Okay. Um, the artist DL Warfel. Okay. I, I don't think I've ever heard him. Okay. Yeah, I asked him about some of his favorite artists in the city and people doing shit. Your name came up. Oh, that's he, what's up. He definitely uh, put me up. That's what's up. This was a while ago. Yeah. So let him know exactly what it is that you do, man. Um, yeah, like I say, man, I, I do all type of various artwork. I do chairs, tables, and I'm self-taught. So I'm still expanding. You know, every day I'm still learning, still growing in that space. So, um, yeah, I do, like I say, various different art pieces, man, from tables, clocks, chairs, wall decor, uh, anything to do with art. Or when you, When did you find your passion? was art. Honestly, man, I stumbled across this like six years ago. I Word? didn't grow up doing art. I didn't grow up with You my... wasn't a kid coloring on the wall with the crayon and nothing. At all. I didn't know God had this inside of me Damn. until like six years ago. Um, me and another buddy of mine, um, he works in IT world. I work in sales. So we both in corporate America. We were just trying to find a way to supplement our income. So we tried everything, man, from reselling clothes, reselling shoes, making clothes. And I went to his house one day, and he had done bought this machine. It's called a CNC router. Come on, he I bought, know about he, that. He went and bought the machine, <clears throat> and he had this. I'll never forget the day. It was uh, July 19th, 2019. And um, I went to his house, and he had this big Jordan Air Force or Jordan 1 cut out of wood. And I'm intrigued by it anyways. So um, I go to painting it, and that's when I realized, man, I'm really being stimulated by this meticulous work. So I'm like, bro, let me take this home with me, man, and let me let me see what I can do with it. So I took it home, and from that day forward, I've either created a piece of art, I've brainstormed something to make or designed something on a computer every single day. And that's when I'm like, okay, this is something that, you know, I, I truly enjoy, I truly love, man. You well, know, damn, they say... you put in six years ago, and you already making custom pieces for top dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I done tapped in with a lot of, a lot of big people, man, and... Um, People are very intrigued by, you know, the work I do. So yeah. I, I see it just. What's some of your cool. favorite pieces that you done created? Um, Challenge, the most challenging one. The one you thought you were like, I don't know if I could pull it off, but then you ended up pulling it off. So the, the most challenging piece, I ain't gonna say challenging, but the most um, unique piece I've made thus far is a piece I did for the rapper named Money Man. I don't know if you ever heard of him. Why do you think I ain't heard of Money Man you know, living right here in the city? Everybody bro. don't know everybody, so Come you know. Come on, man. You know, but yeah, that, I take a brick and I step on it. There you I, go. I, I, there you so you tap, <laughs> tap so the That's way my in. favorite artist. Word. And uh, he's very intellectual, as I am myself. And yeah, he know how to get that paper, too. Exactly. Hence Money Man. So a few years ago, um, NFTs were, were big. Huge. Know. Yeah, so it's an NFT called a Board 8. They're probably the biggest yeah. in that space. Justin Bieber lost a gang of paper off there. You so you hit. Exactly. Okay. So I made a uh, I made a board eight for for Money Man, and at that time, on um, the digital version was going for four hundred thousand. Right. So I'm going for mid. So I'm like, this is this is literally the first, and I got I got time stamps to you know back it up. But I made the first ever physical, tangible board eight, mm -hmm. and um, I made it for him. And knowing he into that space, he understands NFTs. I just I, I messaged him. I, I made the piece first before I knew I wanted to get it to him. But I'm knowing, like, this is my favorite artist. I know he he own NFTs. He know the space. So I just messaged him, man, on, on uh, Instagram one day. Bro, this is yours if you want it. No questions. Bro, I would love it. It's fire. I would love it. So that piece was the one that kind of solidified that, okay, outside of my friends and family who I kind of count on them to, to support me anyway. Right. But outside of them, I got not only my favorite artist, but somebody of this caliber who who rocking with my work. Right. So that's when I really kind of took off from there, man. It was all just downhill from there. 
Honestly. That's what's up. Yeah. Just for you to have the foresight to be like, man, let me try it. Yeah, I mean, that's really all it come down to. That's life, you know? Just try it. And it got to a point of, like, art, I've... I've been able to discover discover myself through art. Growing up, all my life, I played sports, man. I was a football player. Uh, I come from a small country town in Central Florida. Where are you from in Florida? I'm from Lake County, Tabari. Okay. okay. Yep, like 45 minutes north of Orlando. Okay. And, uh, you know, coming from a small country town, man, you get you can either play sports or you can get in the streets. Right. So that's what I, I, I played sports all through college. And just like a lot of people who come from where I come from, after you finish playing sports, it's like, where do I, where do I go now? I done dedicated my whole life Being to playing athlete. sports. Yeah. And me, I'm knowing mentally I can do anything I want to do, but it's like I've groomed myself and my passion for football has grown to a point where I don't know what else I, I, I enjoy doing. I've been doing this all my life. Mm. And I ended up moving here to Atlanta for work. And like I say, when I came across my homie and just going through various different uh, stages of just trying stuff, like you say, just just try it. And that's what I did. When I tried this, like I say, that that passion, that wake up at 4 a.m. with an idea for what I want to create, yeah. it tapped in. And that's when I knew, man, this is That's this when is you it. know you're passionate. This bro. is it. When you have to jump up out the bed and create or write something still down. Or, still to this you day. You know what I mean? Try something. You know? Still to this day. Every day is something. I can, be, I can be driving on the road, and it can be a sign that intrigues my mind to say, oh, I want to go home and try to create. Pull over and check them out. Yeah. Tell you, it's, it's, it's in me now, man. So, uh, What's your next big project? Uh, my next big project will be something for the 85 South Show. Like, hey, I, I love, love South it. South yeah. I love to hear yeah. it. Like I was telling Kat, man, after I made the first piece and I came in here and seen the studio, yeah. he told me y'all in progress, process of, uh, you know, building it up. So I told him, let me do it. Yeah. Let me come in and help y'all, you know, put it together. So um, that's what I, th I think the next big one gonna be, you know, for the 85 South Show, for sure. That's what's up. Yeah. We're gonna get with you. We need yeah. some shit. We and need then all this you, artwork. For your, for your car shop. We need some frames. We need we need something. I'm telling something. you, I wanna I'm I'm the guy. Tables, oh, I need clocks, chairs, Every, the whole nine yards. Yeah, we're gonna have to pull up at the warehouse or something to see what all you got over there. I'm telling you. Yeah. Now let cool. them know where they can get in touch with you at, man, where they can find you. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram, uh, underscore Windsor Street. That's W-I-N-D-S-O-R-S-T-R-E-E-T. Uh, or I got some of my some more of my work online at WindsorStreetATL.com. Uh, uh, or you can tap in with me on my personal page, dbostic 3 And uh, yeah, just reach out to me. I'm, I'm ready to work. Bro, what advice do you have for young up-and-coming black creative children who may be watching this? Or some adults who got an undiscovered talent or something like that. We always try to keep people motivated. For bro. sure. Feel like you found your niche and somebody might can hear something from you that might For sure. inspire I, I, them. I would say stay curious. Yeah. You know, uh, stay curious and, and stay curious about yourself. Like I say, when I, my whole life, I was I dedicated to sports and football and things of that nature. Uh, so when I stopped playing, I didn't know my, I, I didn't know who I was. You know what I'm saying? I was able to hide behind sports my whole life because I was better than average. So I meet somebody, they already know, oh, he played football. And they start, you know, showing me the love and appreciation through that. So when I stopped playing now, I had to, I had to figure out who I am as a person outside of that. Because the people I'm meeting now, they don't know about what I did on the football, football field. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I had to get curious about myself. I had to really dig that, dig deep and figure out who I am as a person outside of sports. So, I would, like I say, I would say stay curious. Um, and not only stay curious, stay curious and put action behind some of that curiosity. You know what I'm saying? Because we can all get curious about various different things, but... If it doesn't go beyond the curiosity, there's no action behind it, it, it kind of dies off. So mm. stay curious and beyond <clears throat> the curiosity, put action behind it. Try it out. Try it out. If you're curious about something, you want to know more about it, try it out. Give it a try, and you never know what might come from it. Never I take no for an answer, man. bro. I found my God-given talent. This is God-given, yeah. honestly. Um, Failure is not an option. I'm, it's not an option at all. You learn something new. And that's that's kind of where I'm at, man. I'm I'm not afraid to try. Who's been helping you, like, hone your skills? Honestly, me, myself. Yeah. Uh, various different. You, I, I watch a lot of YouTube, um, and just like, like I say, just being curious, bro. I see I see other creators creating, and it sparks a certain level of curiosity, and I dig deep until I find an answer, and I try it out. Um, yeah. So like I say, stay curious, man. Stay curious. Put action behind it. The worst that can happen 
is you find something that you figure out something that you don't like. And that's good, cause you, yeah. cause now that you know, you know you don't like it, you'll move on. You can avoid it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Figure the so, process out. Well, thank you. DV, it's your first time stopping through here. Yes, sir. Definitely don't let it be the last. Mm-hmm. Looking forward to working with you, yes, sir. Man. I appreciate hey, you, bro. The black market wide open. Yes, sir. The black market is wide open, player. Yes, sir. I appreciate you, man. No problem. For Let's real. get a photo. Yeah.